from Fox Television. This is the Fox 13, 10 o'clock news. We are at an end of the summer pool party. So what's so cool about that? Well, we're going out there to take a dip in a pool that is actually itself floating in the Manatee River. I wouldn't make this stuff up. Stick around. Fresh water and salt water typically become a mixture called brackish water, and you're about to see an instance where the two waters meet but never touch. And Fox 13's Nancy Alexander's out there with some friends floating in a pool that floats. Everybody in the water. One, two, three! What looks like a garden variety pool party is technically a river party. You see, these folks are swimming in a pool, but the pool is swimming in the Manatee River. Well, of course, you're floating. You're sitting on a noodle. What do you mean you're floating in the water? We're actually uh, took a fiberglass pool and we submerged it in the water and we're physically floating on the surface and uh, enjoying our afternoon. The water they're swimming in is swimming in the water they boat in. And I can hear you thinking, what are you talking about? Let me get this straight. You're floating in a pool that is itself floating in the Manatee River. Did I get that? That is correct. We are freestanding floating in the river. The Riviera Dunes Marina has water, water everywhere. What they don't have is terra firma in which to dig a place to dog paddle. It's something new for Florida and for um, people that have limited amount of property and need to uh, find room for a pool. Now why would you need chlorinated water when you're already surrounded by all this water? Because in a floating pool, the only sea critters you have to be afraid of are your fellow swimmers. First of all, what makes it float? What makes it float um, are the floats, the black floats you see behind me, and also there's one more application. We, we, we spray a polyurethane foam on the actual pool shelf that does the buoyancy of the pool to keep it level. The first pool took about four or five months to engineer and complete. The second one will get picked up and plopped in the marina sometime next week. When you go to put this one in the water, is that going to create a tsunami that, that will be felt in St. Pete? No, not, no, no, it won't be that bad. But we'll, uh, we'll notify everyone when we, when we submerge it. We'll give you warning. The pool equipment is all on deck, which of course is all afloat. A heater keeps it a comfy 86, even in winter. It's a strange sensation when the pool's flotation, and it's real pricey to pour a pool in the water. They're expensive. Um, Porsche 911. A new one? Yeah. Out there in Palmetto. I'm Fox 13's Nancy Alexander. Can't drive it anywhere, but it sure is fun. Yeah, I guess. Great way to spend the summer. You know, what else? What else can they do to make it make it worthwhile? <laughs> to make you make you wonderful, love life. Well, well the Bucks did something yeah, to make the team wonderful.